The 200-inch Hale Telescope at Caltech's Palomar Observatory is used nearly every clear night of the year. Its giant mirror gradually accumulates dirt, so every year or two it is time to remove it from the telescope and give it a proper cleaning. Members of the observatory staff first secure the telescope and remove cameras and equipment from its underside. Next, the Cassegrain cage is removed. Some of the crew then works on cleaning and removing what is known as the cast ring. As they work, the top to a massive bell jar is picked up at right and lowered behind the telescope. The top to the chamber weighs 17 and a half tons and is lifted by a crane to top of the dome. The underside of the mirror cell is given a cleaning. Finally, a giant cart is pushed underneath the telescope. It is raised to catch the mirror and mirror cell, which is then unbolted from the telescope. The disks are then carefully lowered and then pushed over to where the mirror will be worked on. After an inspection, and initial cleaning by removing the oil spots. The mirror is then carefully washed with soap and water. During this procedure, the mirror must be kept wet at all times to prevent any spots from developing. A chemical mixture known at Palomar as Green River, is then applied to the surface. This then dissolves away the old coating of aluminum and revealing the structure of the supports and hollow spaces of the mirror's underside. A dusting of calcium carbonate and a washing with nitric acid are applied before the mirror is finally washed again, this time with distilled water. When all is ready and clean, the mirror is then dried with paper towels. The mirror is then covered with paper towels to protect it overnight. The next day, the paper towels are carefully removed and the mirror is given a final cleaning with alcohol. The disc is then moved and the lid to the giant bell jar is lifted by the dome crane. The dome is rotated, bringing the lid into place over the mirror. Giant pumps, not visible here, work furiously to pull the air out of the chamber, which is pumped in excess of 24 hours. When all is ready, the observatory's electrician turns a big circular switch as an engineer pushes the button to fire the coils. Inside, wire coils glow brilliantly, evaporating a thin layer of aluminum, which is deposited on the mirror's surface. The next day, the lid is lifted off, and the mirror's shiny new coating is revealed.